Hi, I've been asked in uh, one of my videos how I would add an external trigger to my animation. Um, although my pit droid will not be equipped with an external trigger because I don't want him to move around whenever someone passes him, um, I am still going to show you how to do it or better said how I would do it. Again, in no means this is the not the perfect way, not the ideal way. There are definitely going to be better ways of doing it, but hey, it works for me. It might work for you. And uh, yeah, can't be bad if it works. For simplicity reasons, I'm going to use a setup uh, which is reduced to the minimum. So we will have uh, just an LED strip to uh, visualize that the motion has been detected and the motion detector itself. In my case, this is a AM312, but uh, any motion detector or analog motion detector should do the trick for this. As you can see on the picture, the wiring is pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, we'll connect the five volt and ground of the motion detector with our five volt uh, power supply and the data cable, which is the yellow middle one in this case, we're going to connect with uh, D26 of our ESP32. If you want to use a different uh, pin, then just uh, remember this when you do the coding part. I created a very simple Botango model for this uh, test. It's actually just one uh, activator, one LED, the LED strip and a custom on off and a custom color change. And I'm using the color change data in the Botengo driver source code to turn on the LED. So I have like a count up with uh, one LED being turned on after two seconds, the next one after four, six and eight so that we really visually see that the motion detection has worked. So now when you export your animation, just make sure that uh, you deselect the auto start, which will automatically also deselect the loop and export it into the directory where you have the Botengo driver source code. In my case, I'm gonna not going to export it because it will overwrite the changes that we need to apply later on, but you know that drill. For the required source changes, we need to open the file generated command streams.cpp. And here we have to add the logic that our uh, motion sensor requires. First, we have to define three variables with uh, motion pin being the only one where you might need to apply changes to the code that you're seeing here. Um, as you hopefully remember from the wiring diagram, the data pin of my motion sensor is connected with pin 26 of my ESP32 board. So I have the 26 in here. If you decided to connect it to a different pin, you have to apply your changes. Within the function update play status, we have to do our magic. Uh, first of all, and this is the only part that I'm not happy about, uh, we have to define the pin mode for the pin that we have the uh, motion sensor on. This is actually something you only need to do once, but uh, yeah, I wasn't sure where to find a better place for it. So it is now in the loop. It's no harm. It's not th that it takes a lot of compute time. It's just not very nicely. Then in the if else structure, we will just monitor the state of the motion pin if it got triggered or not. And uh, if it gets triggered, we will uh, set the motion trigger Boolean to true. And uh, then in the second if statement, we will just look 
if the motion trigger has been triggered and if the uh, automation is not already running. And if this is uh, the case, then we will start our animation. As always, you don't have to copy the code segments from my screen. I will provide a link to the source code in uh, the description of the video so you can just completely replace the content of your uh, generated command stream.cpp file with what I will provide for you. So now all that's left to do is uh, upload the driver onto our ESP, have it start and trigger a motion. This concludes this video and I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up just as feedback for me and the work that I'm putting in in creating these videos. And if you don't want to miss any new releases, please also hit subscribe. I have no intention of making money out of these videos. If for whatever reason they should still get monetized, all profits that I will make out of these videos will be donated to an official charity organization. See you at the next video.